Hi guys, welcome back. Actually, welcome back after a really long time. I know I've been like MIA and you might have seen that I haven't done any video for the last two weeks. And not just video, you might have seen that I, I have also not posted anything on Twitter, right? Like not neither a video nor a post or anything. I've been completely off grid for the last um, two weeks. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just been a, like a huge, like a, like I had like a health scare that, that, that came up in the last two weeks. And that is why I've been off grid. I will obviously not go into the details of it, uh, and explain everything, but yeah, it's been, it's just, it, it just triggered due to, due, you know, due to stress as you know, right? Like this, this quarter I took up on the mammoth task of, you know, like analyzing every single company that came out with its result. And on top of that, you know, we, we didn't have actually any plans of doing the Q1 FI26 workshop. It just, it just so happened uh out of the blue because a lot of people were asking initially the plan was to do it half yearly but uh, since a lot of people were asking we're like you know what let's do it and since both of the tasks came in just a matter of weeks in a matter of months right like the entire month of august was like i was working like 15 16 hours a day going to the gym hitting you know very hard even in the gym and like roughly getting like five hours of sleep every day and uh, yeah that caused a lot like for me it's not stress because i really enjoy my work right like i can be sitting Sitting here in front of the laptop and just like even like not use the washroom wear a diaper and just sit and read for 16 hours but unfortunately yes as a woman like my body couldn't take that you know you know take that kind of uh you know, you know that pressure and that set off like a domino effect with respect to my health like i didn't know it was that serious because i only heard in the movies and everything you know like or or just read you know like how you know like stress really like ends up you know causing a lot of harm but i think this was the first time i had like you know like a like a real life experience on how it does like uh it, it's just been like I, I never knew it was going to be so bad like from having no bp you know like my bp was dropping i used to faint and everything so yeah it was just it was just horrible like you know one after the other and i had to get like so many blood tests done like i've got like 20 25 blood tests done like like it was crazy like you know like all this hormone test dhea testosterone i mean i don't even know the names and all my reports were like clean like like squeaky clean because i have a healthy lifestyle right like i don't eat garbage i don't eat junk food i don't eat sugar i go to the gym i i walk a lot so it's so there was no problems or anything it was just you know caused you to stress and the doctor was like bro like i can't give you medications you just got to tone down with work and just sleep and yeah so once the workshop was done you know everything was done i just like took off for two weeks like did nothing just absolutely did nothing all my notifications were turned off and just i've just been chilling you know like i went to thailand also with my family for like for like a week almost and then yeah i've just been walking on the beach swimming in the ocean eating or just cooking that's just what it has been because it also makes no sense you know to be like working you know like 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 that i i i also don't regret doing what i did because i just love what i do but also having said that it makes no sense to put you know like my body through that at the end of the day so yeah that that's why i've been mia like i had to really take that break off and rajoshi also wouldn't let me work every time i open my laptop he would yell at me so <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah that's why i've been mia and uh, even now that i'm back i'm going to take it slowly with respect to all the work uh, it's it's very hard for me to like keep my mind away from this but but yeah that's what i'm trying to do but anyways thanks to all those people you know who reached out to me in dms and you know you were like asking why am i not doing videos and everything uh i i i i'm sorry for that uh i I wanted to get up and do videos, but it was also important for me to, you know, like take care of the health and just not do even excessively. That was another thing. And I know I'm supposed to respond to a lot of your DMs regarding some queries that are there, but uh, please have some patience because I'm taking like, I'm just back actually from Thailand in, uh, like Saturday and, you know, I'm just taking it one step at a time right now. But anyways, in today's video, I think you already know from, uh, from the uh, heading, you know, you already understand that, right? He, um, you know, uh, again the topic that we're going to be discussing is why looking at trailing p is bad actually this video was actually inspired by one of the dms that i got where the person had asked like you know like they were asking a query as to like you know this is a 40 percent growth engine available at 120p but when i did that calculation i realized that company was not trading at 120p but in fact it was trading at 60p so when i asked like how that person did the calculation they referred it to like you know many once are like you know i took a trailing p now always when i talk about a peak a calculation you would have seen 
it in, it in my video i neither talk about an absolute p nor do i talk about you know the current like the the trailing p i talk about one year forward p why do i talk about one year forward p's because market is a forward looking engine aapko aage ka dekhna chahiye in fact with respect to trailing p yahan pe kya problem hota hai i'll give you a general example so it makes it very easier to understand okay now let's say there is a company okay us company ka market cap is around 10000 crore okay and in fy25 they did a they did a uh, let's say a pat let's say it's a very good high growth engine 60% sa growth 60% ka sales growth engine hai and let's say in fy25 pura saal ka unka pat tak kitna 100 crore so 10000 divided by 100 what is a one year forward p uh, what is a uh, fy25 ka like the trailing p if you take it it is 100 p right right 10000 divided by 100 crore of pat now let's say in q4 ko kon call unhone kuch bola hoga let's say you know aage ja ke like you know hamara pat margin jo hai jo badhne wala hai i'm getting a product mix change jiske wajah se let's say my pat margin which was earlier 15% wo company aake bol raha hai ki like not 15% my pat margin will be 25 30% you know mera bahut bada product mix change hone wala hai mera capex aane wala hai and everything theek hai now if the product mix changes if the margin is getting better obviously as a result pat will also get better now let's say usne unhone very upward guidance diya hai with respect to pat margin uske wajah se uska fy26 ka pat will be 300 crores so 10000 divided by 300 crores kitna hoga aapka one year forward pe 33 p but because you are stuck in the past aap fy25 ka aap trailing pe dekh rahe ho aapka one year one year trailing pe kitna hai aapka pe banta hai somewhere around 100 for a 60% ka growth engine so what happens when you take a trailing pe let's say that company might come across as expensive because you're not taking the right calculation and you might end up missing an opportunity jaise maine bola ye ek 60% ka growth engine hai and you know that person was taking you know like since they were taking the प्रीवियस साल का पी एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव का पी क्या हो रहा है वहां पे देवर नॉट एबल टू डिस्काउंट दी आगे जाके क्या अच्छा चीज होने वाला है देवर एबल टू फाइंड द सेम सिक्सटी परसेंट का ग्रोथ नीचे नॉट हंड्रेड पी बट इफ यू हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ सेंस क्या होगा यू विल अंडरस्टैंड लाइक आगे जाके थिंग्स विल गेट बेटर इवन बेटर फॉर द कंपनी देन वॉट इट इज टूडे सो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड विद द चेंजेस दे आर ब्रिंगिंग द वन ईयर फॉरवर्ड पी फॉर द सिक्सटी परसेंट ग्रोथ इंजन इज थर्टी थ्री सो दैट इंजन बिकम्स यू नो अ हाई ग्रोथ लो पी इंजन सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड ट्रेलिंग पी में क्या होता है ट्रेलिंग पी में आप सिर्फ फास्ट का देख रहे हो आप आगे का नहीं देख रहे हो सिंस यू आर नॉट टेकिंग आगे का थिंग्स यू विल यू नो यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डिस्काउंट ऑल द गुड थिंग्स दैट आर हैपनिंग एट द सेम टाइम द अदर प्रॉब्लम व्हाट हैपेंस लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल you might come across a company let's say 30% ka growth engine hai at 20p theek hai again mid trailing pe yahan pe baat kar rahi hu so you might look at uh, you you would have taken that you know fy25 ka pe let's say and you might have seen ki like okay fy25 mein us, usne 300 crore ka pat kiya hai market cap is 10000 crore so fy25 ka pe looking at right now q1 of fy26 you are taking fy25 ka pe and you're telling ki like are iska to pe trailing pe is around 33 let's say in the q1 ka call call the management is coming and telling ki like you know yes we are seeing some हेडविंस हमारा रॉ मटेरियल प्राइसेस बढ़ रहा है हमें कंटेनर नहीं मिल रहा है आगे जाके थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम आएगा यू नो व्हिच मींस व्हाट आगे जाके मार्जिंस विल गेट अफेक्टेड व्हिच मींस अल्टीमेटली जो पैट है जो अगले साल का पैट है इट विल बी लेसर देन व्हाट इट वाज लास्ट ईयर अ गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट आई थिंक अ रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट आई कैन गिव इज जेन टेक्नोलॉजीज राइट बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल लाइक यू नो इट माइट लुक लाइक जेन टेक्नोलॉजीज इन इन द इन एफआई 25 इट माइट हैव लुक्ड एज अ आई डोंट रिमेंबर व्हाट वाज द पी एट दैट टाइम बट लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक जस्ट फॉर कैलकुलेशन purposes let's say it was a 100% growth engine in q4 fy25 available available at 55 60 p mai just example ke liye bol raha hu but what did zen technologies tell in the con call ke like aage ja ke pura saal hamara fy26 ka kya hone wala hai we are going to have a muted growth right which means what agar growth nahi hai to obviously aage ja ke leverage mein bhi problem aayega operating leverage mein pat will become less which means what aage ja ke problems aayega right so maybe instead of having a better you know in fy26 the, the pat will not be as stronger as fy 25 which means what ultimately aapka pe will be higher na over here again the same example last year pe last year ka pat was 300 crore maybe in fy26 for the pat for this company let's say an xyz company can be 100 crore so in fy25 agar aap trailing pe dekhte the then it would have been a 60% ka growth in at 33 pe but if you take into account that aage ja ke problem aa raha hai and probably you know because of that calculation you are finding that fy26 mein unka pe jo hai is going to be somewhere around 60 instead of you know instead of instead of 33 then you understand ki right yahan pe kuch bahut bada problem hone wale so what will happen when you take trailing pe is 
either you know when things are happening good for the company like you know really really acha cheez ho rahe for the company kya ho rahe you will you will not know you won't be able to discount the good things at the same time if things are going to be too bad for the company and you know probably wahan pe pe ka derating hone wala hai you know you might find that hey are company to abhi bhi sasta hai and you might not be able to anticipate the problem that comes over here and as a result you might enjoy the journey of pe derating instead of enjoying the journey of pe ka rating so this is a huge 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 mistake that i see a lot of people doing so agar aap hamesha valuation ka calculation kar rahe ho take a one year forward ka pe do not take an absolute pe do not take the trailing pe also okay other thing mein ek ek aur cheez bolna chahti hu yahan pe whenever you talk about again this entire valuation calculation there are sometimes what i see people doing is you know they take 2 saal ka pe you know 2 year forward pe 3 year forward pe and they do you will always see in my videos mai sirf hamesha sirf 1 saal ka hi 1 year forward pe lete no matter how good the company is no matter if they have given a guidance of 3 years have given a guidance of 4 years 5 years or whatsoever i always take 1 year forward pe because i believe with respect now we are looking at q1 when you're sitting in q1 ka month and entering into q2 i believe there is a better visibility for q3 and q4 right but what will happen after that a year later 2 years later 3 years later that becomes a very difficult because you see we live in a world that is very dynamic right aage jaake you know, i mean you might sit here today and for all you know by the end of q3 there could be a war and the entire you know the the guidance and everything can go for a toss right like it's it's very difficult so and also another thing is i i think whenever you're doing any sort of valuation calculation it is better to be can you know it is better to be very very conservative like than be optimistic right that is the philosophy that i follow be conservative than being overly optimistic with respect to valuation calculation and whenever you're taking 2 saal 3 saal ka pe automatically that entire stock becomes cheaper way cheaper than what it is or what it is supposed to be so i would say take one year ka forward pe and because there is a little bit of at least visibility when you talk about you know when you talk about that company then let's say 2 to 3 years because see you and i do not know what is going to happen with our lives tomorrow right when we wake up so how can you talk about a company 2 saal 3 saal ke baad no matter how great the guidance is keep it at one year forward ka pe only and again yes do not look at trailing pe because agar aap trailing pe dekhte ho then you're looking at back you know up it's like looking at trailing pe is like driving a car by looking backwards you can't drive a car right like aise mud ke piche mud ke to aap aap aage nahi ja sakte ho right it is impossible so similarly like this only because whenever you look at a company agar aap piche ka piche dekhe you know when you're looking at when i see a lot of people bolo f i 25 ka pat leke you know they're doing the uh, valuation calculation if you do that what will happen any company that could be a good opportunity will come across as too expensive and the other thing that can happen is you know there could be some huge problems that could be arising in the company and there could be a peak or derating a journey that can start but you will not be able to take that into account and you will be you know still thinking that the company is very cheap and everything and you might fall into a huge trap you know by taking trailing pe so although you know trailing pe absolute pe it looks very very fancy very nice in doing all this you know excel ka calculation excel mein dal ke you know right you know in a, in a in a flowery sheet colors sab dal ke in all this models and everything it just doesn't work in real life you know like for the examples that i told you right now think about it right for well, there are many companies today jo you know probably that haven't done well for a lot of time in the past and aage ja ke bol rahe ki like you know mera you know we we have discussed a lot of opportunities in in the in the in the uh, q1 fi 26 workshop right one such company we discussed you might have seen right they were they were a textile company now entering into the defense space and everything and how the pat margin is going to increase from 15% to 25% so think about this if you were taking fi 25 ka pat and doing you are stuck at 15% pat margin agar aap fi 26 ka one year forward lete ho you might have to take 25% pat margin the stock becomes relatively cheap comes into single digit compared to double digit when you talk about trailing pe versus forward pe you see the huge difference over here similarly ulta bhi ho sakta hai right like you know things can you know up up you could be very bullish but wahan pe pe ka derating ho raha hai so these are the things to keep in mind always 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 take forward pe and make sure you're taking at least for a year not not more than that that is it okay so that's it guys with today's video and i will see you again and i'm going to be regular from this week from making videos i have a lot of companies to cover actually and a lot of sectors also like i can do a sectoral video but let me know if you guys would want it or if you want a a, a certain specific kind of a certain specific kind of companies you know 
to be to be covered in the video let me know like whatever companies you want to cover or whatever sectors you want me to cover let me know in the comment section and i can do it yes but please 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 for the love of god don't give me the solar defense chemical pharma uh, real estate companies right like you know i do not track all these companies because whenever i uh, whenever i open the company i just get a i just get headache it's just not me it's not my thing and it's not the party that i want to be part of or present in so yeah i yeah and after after the last two weeks of just chill and you know just just sleeping for 10 hours a day finally everything is back to normal my bp and everything is back to normal so i hope don't give me the solar and defense and everything and take me back to that place so yeah that's that guys and uh, also once again really really thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the people who reached out to me and uh, you know was you know was checking on me i uh, although i couldn't have responded to each and one each and every one of you please know that it it means a lot to me and i really really appreciate it you know from the bottom of my heart and that's it guys have a nice day bye